my beautiful baby Have you seen my tomato baby oh Iyele baby suffering the cool me temper Ada baby na sugar sugar yo Everybody they wait Put a can no more If I did my maka Beta supu na mone kila mo Adam wa mba peke peke miya Ada 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 Yo Good day to us all over the world My name is Oli Vese Dimiru I'm presenter of one on one on www.oketitetown.com.ng We are here in our studio with Mix Oketit The first of this kind in Oketit in the Middle East and Africa State and uh, Miss Pocket, you're welcome to the city. Thank you. Let me shake your hand. Thank you. So tell us, what is your name? My name is Opala Ovechu Sentina. Opala Ovechu Sentina. In Sentina. In Sentina. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 22. 22. Are you a student or a working class? Or? I'm a student. You're a student? Yes. Of where? I'm a state university. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what's your name? So tell us, have you been on this modeling business before now that just came out of your No, no. So what brought it up? There is always a first time for everything. So being my town and being an indigene, I decided to partake because I wasn't expecting to win, but but what inspired you at this short time to step into this modern business? First, I would say I just wanted to put it in track. Nothing inspired me. Okay, so how did you get to be about this? Um, the, the organizers came to meet my uncle and they told him about it. Then I wasn't around. So when I came back, they came back again. So I met them and they told me stories that this is happening for the first time. Well, like the first thing that actually told me to partake if I wanted to. So I had to like think about it and get back to them. And that was when I finally decided for the first time I'm actually going to do something like this. So, can we know you personally? Are you a shy person or a good kind of person? It depends. Sometimes, maybe when I see people I don't know, I get shy, you know. With people I know, I'm very comfortable. So, I watched you live on that audition day where you were selected the best among all. And uh, one of the things your attire showed that you are the uh, law, you dressed as a law, right? Yeah. What motivated you to go into such a fight? Well, I would say because of my body stature, and I wear things that will fit me. And I know if I should dress like a law, law. That is actually going to give me what I want and actually going to wow the crowd. So that's the reason why I dressed like that. So, in prior to that event, you were dressing as well and the entire people will be dressed that way. So, you kind of does your dress code. So, seeing those crowds that day, how do you felt? As in, when people were you know, hearing you all know, when you were walking and that, how do you feel? At some point, I was, I was really, I had stage fright, but I had to control it. Like, I'm not the kind of person that stays in crowd. And seeing those people with what I was taught in town, I had to like put everything together and be myself. I was actually happy people came out for me and it felt like that. But seriously, it wasn't easy. So you mentioned that you were taught in camp. When you guys were actually taught before coming to this event or this. Yes, yes. So can you tell us what were the steps that you guys took before you get to this event? Um, first, we started with um, the audition. That was when he told us what we were going to do and everything about the morning school. Then secondly, we came for the, the class of lessons and it wasn't really easy at first because my kind of person, I don't wear heels. So they taught us, the tutor was very okay and everything was fine. Then we got to the stage where we had to, they gave us tickets to sell, everybody had to sell their tickets. 
get to this point. Then we actually had an online vote and a lot of other things. Wow. So on the online vote, how many did you score? I got 322 likes. Are you at the peak of the online voting or are there other people that will call you more than you? I'm at the peak. Wow. Okay. And uh, right there, you had an advantage. Yes. Because there were speculations that actually that you were not meant to win that ele election or the contest, that you felt some questions. Yes. So what happened? Actually, I felt some questions, but I know in every other thing, actually did what was expected of me. I sold all my tickets. My online voting was okay, and I know my performance was nice. My dress was okay. So I wasn't expecting to win. After the question, I cried. I was like, even if I lose, at least I came out for the first time. So even if I'm getting into something else, I wouldn't be like, I wasn't expecting myself to win. Like, if you watch the videos, I had my fingers crossed. I was like, whatever happens, happens. So. So now you finally won. And the first is okay to take. What can you do in this opposition to influence okay to take Well, I don't really say much about that for now. But I just want people to look out for me. For giving me this opportunity, I know I'm going to make a very good use of it. Like, I'm going to make something out of it. But you people should just watch out for me. So, you know, you have one year to not to wear as a pair. And you must have impact in a lot of players in the society. So, um, Miss Pocket, you know, you've been wonderful in answering your questions up to now. And we are still on the question of impartation to the use of Pocket. Top 
of the town, not only the town, like everybody is going to look forward to like watching OKT Project. Okay, thank you, Miss OKT to come to the end of this show. Okay. And thank you guys so much for all you here, the most beautiful and most intelligent girl in Africa to speak. And uh, we are looking up to you people for your endorsement and for investment into this cultural project event. So thank you for watching our event place. Hi, my name is Papala Ogechi Kumbusentina and I am the Miss Okay City 2019. Keep watching Zelich TV and log on to www.okcitytown.com.ng. I want to give a shout out to my mom, everyone who came out to support me, everyone who saw that this event was successful. I want to give a shout out to my shout out to my president, Mr. Uchenna Opala, to Louise, the head of pageantry, to my stylist, my designer, my fellow contestants, and the runner-ups, everybody that participated. I want to say a very big thank you for making it possible for me to be the queen. Without you guys, there is no me and there is no queen. And to all KTT students, I say thank you so much for making it possible. Subscribe to Zilis TV. Keep watching.